what is up community of empathy and this is Marsha 15 and it is time welcome back to the one and only dial town so last time we finished one of the demo routes with the with the phone head uh, ring up conversation lock you skip dialogue aka these keypads can be altered in the options menu. Okay. This game did get an update since last time I recorded. So, what we're going to do this time is pick the typewriter instead of green phone head for our character. Hello, dog man. Hello, dog man. So, so perhaps I should skip this bit. And if you'd shut up, I can ask what your name is. Alright. I mean, it's going to be the same as last time. Alright, anywho, what's your name? Nah. It's, uh, same as before. It says you, dog, man. I'm just... Uh, don't like the response. Yeah, I will. Anywho, second question. Yeah, so last time we did that route, we're going to go with the typewriter this time. Ah, uh, nice. Enjoy having to use your own head to write smut fan fiction just to be able to afford the occasional glass of turnip water. Wait, no, you know, I'm gonna go back. Sing, sounds kinky to be frank. Amazing. I've never wondered if it was possible to capture a player before. What? Now, final question. Oh, right. I think I did mail before. In this case, that's random. This term which determines your pronouns and doesn't define anything except for how people refer to in dialogue. I'll just do with mail for now. We can always go back and do other routes. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, enjoy having the innate ability to open pickle jars, I guess. Wow, pickle jars. Thanks. <sighs> what I say about. What did I say about calling me? All right then, get out of my sight. I will get out of your sight, <laughs> very much. So how is it gonna be different from us being in the green phone? I wonder. Hmm. Seems I'm alive again. Ugh. Ouch, darn! <laughs> I hate it when I do that. How it's so quick. Hmm. Oh, the eggs? My tattoos are from right. Wait, so is it just like the last time? We're still with still doing the eggs business? Must be getting ready to hatch. Yep, it looks like it is. I have for reproductive is now. I will be putting the 18 plus warning because that definitely is necessary. I must find a dark, dank pit to lay my eggs in. Not that one. That is red eyes, that's bad. Fairground. Yeah, I remember doing that. That's the. Rainbow Fairground is dark, dank, and greasy. Plentiful supply of carnival food nearby. Very, yeah. Yes! Must go to the carnival. There we go. Mission gained to go to the fun fair. Oh, yep. Here we go. Well, this is right near it. Oh well, there we have it. The carnival. So close yet so far. Must must gain entry. Must penetrate defenses of mile high railings. I mean, those railings are hardly a mile high. Faster narrator need to lay eggs. Well, you could always, you know, grow through the main gate. A plan so crazy, it just might work. Yeah, humor in this game is very 18 plus. Hey, it's Ticket Jerry! What's up, Ticket Jerry? Greetings, Ticket Buffoon. <laughs> My name is Jerry, but okay, sir. How can I help you today? I wish to gain entrance, Jerry, of Ticket Booth. Well, do you have a ticket, sir? Nah, it's fine. I don't want to pass behind any behind any of your rides this year. I simply wish to find a fatty hole to lay my eggs in. Okay, you definitely need to buy a ticket from us if you want to do that. RATS! 
How much would that cost? Two dollars. Fudge, I have zero dollars. Tell, tell me, young squire? Would you accept tales, stories, and other such whimsical parables as payment? No. No, I would not. Aw, oh, shoot, I was so close too! Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you that creep who lives in that tent next to the playground at the park? Oh no, my covers are blown! Look, sir, I'm only telling you this because your sentence is going to drive away more sales from you standing there than if I don't. It's Valentine's Day today. Val what? Valentine's Day, isn't, Valentine's Day, isn't that for romantic people? Yeah, but... Didn't you say they have instantly or some other bizarre drivel to that effect? Surely you have a maid of some kind of your game range legs. Uh, does the saga under my mattress count? <laughs> okay, fuck it. I'm cutting to the chase because I can only take about three more dialogue options from you before my head combusts. Well, that's a day for people who are, you know, in love. Love when God's green earth is that. This is love thing, a type of feeling. I don't really do those. Thanks. Well, sorta. Love is what happens when two grown-ups start craving more than just business handshakes and platonic ice cream breaks. Love makes two want to go on romantic ice cream dates and drink all kinds of exotic exilers and nectars together. When two grown-ups are in love, they'll make joint bank accounts together and go to the movies together to feed popcorn kernels to the rats and cockroaches there. And then one day, if you're lucky, your partner will take the kids away forever and go marry see the guy in your accounting firm who works in the same cubicle as you, but makes 6% more per year than you, and you can finally have a good night's sleep. Oh my god. It's very wordy. Sounds like my college work. That's love, my scary friend. Speaking of which, we have a promotion on today just for Valentine's Day. Two tickets for the price of one for couples who are in love. If you can somehow convince someone to bring you here, you can, I don't know, force them to pay you in like a parasite? Granted, I, it'd take a real bastard to mission acquired. Oh god fucking must source mate. <laughs> Is this any different from the chips in the head at all? Uh, okay, uh, go do that. Away from here. Dot dot dot. Okay, we ain't gonna just, you see, Mr. Jerry Ticket, I'll be back with the smoking hot babe. Hey, Ticket Jerry, are you by chance free on Valentine's Day? Now, that's probably gonna get the cops called on us, so, okay, we go now. Think Rotary Jesus, please do. Scuttle away. Scuttle away. Ah! Chapter 1, The Fun Fair Day. I heard Direct Doggo, or Dogman, is making an extended demo of this game. If, I, hope, I hope I can be able to get that if it's free. Because that'd be cool to play. An extended demo. Alright, uh, this looks familiar. Ah, Tent Sweet Tent. To find a well-functioning member of society to latch onto like a parasite, you'll have to leave your tent, you know. Damn, I hate moving, even when necessary. Can't just sell my eggs here. Ugh, do I have to? Great stuff. Let's go to these eggs. Brilliant. Reminder that you can bring up the menu at any point using the escape key, even during dialogue such player choices, allowing you to tweak options or save at any point. You know, let's see, where is the option to save? Here we go. I'll save this already. Yep. Back to the slaughter then. I don't know what weapons World War 3 will be fought with. I'm not a genius LMAL. Seven Einstein. So, give up on your love because give up. That's not even an option. We'll have to try that in the full game. Where would you like to go? Um, well, there's a playground. That's different. I don't recall, I don't recall there being a playground last time. Yeah, this is totally new. Look at the soccer ball. Ah, the playground. As long as you say it's exactly 25 feet from the perimeter, of the zone of merriment, you shouldn't be legally prosecutable. So what now? Um, someone nearby kid. 
LS, the only form of intel. Yeah, we can't do that yet. That's probably a, a feature for the full game. Right to the ground. Exactly 25.05 feet away. Perfect! You know, now might be a good time to reflect on child labor laws and why you're no longer legally allowed so close to this very playground again in the first place. Shut! I refuse to learn any lessons! Radio. All that we can do? Oh, I can do that now. <laughs> um, unless you only need some intel. I mean, we gotta see what happens! And I mean, I can even go back to the green head and. I wanna see what happens. It's gonna be bad. I just wanna see what happens. Childer, Childer! The cops are gonna come, right? Come gather around, Childer. Is a cop? Is somebody gonna call the cops to me? Oh my god! Oh my god, it is! Wow, even the children are phones for heads. That's pretty cool! Little Billy, hey Bozo, can I help you? Child? Yeah, I'm a child. What of it? Um, four feet, seven inches. Smell like grass despite never touching it due to me having a grass app on my phone. <laughs> and I take my crystal mic licorice flavored. What? You have apps? But that's a rotary phone. That's that's not a smartphone. And also, he does he, does, he seems to not care about what we look like. Kids grow up so fast nowadays. Oh, are you sure about that? Well, I remember when I was your age. A mere hatchling. Why? Well, my tail hadn't even grown yet. Wait, we have a tail? What? Okay, scary agreement. Also, oh, he doesn't think we're scary. He's just not running away. Say, so, hey, aren't you not allowed to get within 25 feet of this playground? Have you seen all that? Jokes on you. You're. Jokes on you, you vertically stun shitlord. <laughs> I merged at the ground before summoning you. I'm just within an irresponsibly marginal but still legal distance. Ha! Pointing fingers. You're less than 25 feet from me, though. No, no. We learned about two digit numbers at school yesterday, so your reptile branded bullshit won't work on me this time, bozo. Well, double jokes on you, you little scrot. The law says that I can't get within 25 feet, within 25 feet of the playground. Not the little scrotus, scrotus, contained within its confines. Technically, you approached me. I win. So if I go back to the slide, you can't talk to me without shouting. Okay, see you later then, boat. Please, no, I need intel. If this is a question about the birds and bees, then I'm sorry, but my dad got really angry when I asked him about that for you. Turns out shit gets nasty when birds F. <laughs> no, it's not that question this time. Then, what is it? Also, I like how the font is like, you know, more, I guess, squiggly. Can you pay me to the fun fair? What? Are the new cool words? So what do kids eat? Hmm, I'll do this one first. What are the new cool words? Oh man, cool is the new drool. What you need are some quality slurs. I'm listening, but aren't those the bad words? I'm listening. Now, I'm sure you know all the popular ones like calling an inexperienced direct salesman Aladdin or referring to a slightly unfamiliar dog as Groucho, but the mightiest slur of all, Grunk Grunkus. <laughs> it's like a cheat code, but instead of unlocking you an extra life or more money, it just unlocks you a particularly painful death. Awful, thanks for sharing. My pleasure, a green one. Now, what else do you want? Say, what do kids eat? Are you trying to lure more kids away to clean your tent again? No, lie. You are, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> now answer the question, you prepubescent shit stain. <laughs> well, personally, I eat an all sorts of diet of glitter, modeling clay, flavored milk, and chicken nuggets like most kids my age. Dot dot dot. You wanna write those down? Well, I don't need to write them down. I caught them on video. I can't really write. Oh, because you don't have a pen? 
Sure, lie. Hone dog, slice man. What else do you want then? Okay, let's try this. Can you pay me to into the fun fair? Are you seriously baking from children now? Have you sunk that low? No, it was just really a hilarious joke, lie. I was always capable of such things. There was no lower that I can sing to now. Let's, uh, no, it was just really a hilarious joke. My bones are still forming, and I have a more sophisticated sense of humor than you. Wow! You want to challenge that? <laughs> Please internalize this information thusly. God damn it, kids nowadays. <laughs> I could say that. I mean, yeah, okay. When I was a kid, we just drank the lead paint and threw rocks at geese. Oh my! No! Is that why you're green? Now I was green long before I touched lead paint. But you're right, had I not been before. I probably would have been turned green afterwards. Alright, you done then, Bozo? Yeah. Nah, fuck it, I'm done. You di you're dismissed, child. I do have a name, you know. Yeah, and I don't care to learn it. Be gone, stunted one. Alright, little bozo. So it looks like I can do it again, but I want to save again. Yes. I could do another one. Would it, would, hang on, will it be someone different? I mean, I would guess it's someone different. Let's see if it's a different. Challenger, Challenger. Come gather around, Challenger. Now it's the same one. Need something, Bozo? I was looking to see if it was a different one every time, but no, it's the same. Okay. So let's leave. And let's go to the park and not go back to the tent. Yeah, the playground is a new place. That wasn't there before. Here is the park. Ah, the park. You could go roll around on the nice spring grass unless you're making a feel like this card is starting to stuck in your arm. No, I think we did that before. So, what now? Leave the area light down on the grass. And let's do it again. It's like say the time of friendos. You have friends? Shut! <laughs> yeah, narrator. Let's go at that narrator. Uh, isn't this just tranquil? It really is quite serene, yes. It's good to get away from the big city. The one you're only like two yards further away from? Yeah, the peace ones really helps unclench the old spincher, alright? Sure. sure. Why don't I do this more often? Well, usually the crash is laden with blades, syringes, and other unmentionables. Well, it's a good thing that. Yep. Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> ah! What the fuck? <laughs> ah! Ah! My arm! Oh god! Oh shit! Oh no! Yeah, I'm not gonna say all the F words. Ouch, yeah, I think I can see a scratch or two, alright? This is why I hate nature and shit! <laughs> well, technically, strangers are completely man made and used to, like, silence narrator! Yeah, you might wanna find a band aid or ten for a few of those little scrapes if you can. Then again, you're penniless and band aids don't exactly grow on trees. Oh, but you syringes grow on fields! How is that even remotely fair? Oh, shut up, you wounded crybaby. Come on, back to the park we go then. Oh my god. Ouch. So, leave. Um, let's go to Uptown Downtown. So, it's just the same except, I mean, sure there's going to be some differences because we're a typewriter, not a phone for a head bit. It's our store the same. Ah, Uptown Dialtown, home of everything and everyone. Not cool enough to be in Downtown Dialtown. So, what now? Well, let's talk to the local hobo, aka Dogman. Hobo of Dialtown, I summon thee. Burp. Yo. <laughs> hey, nice meet you, kid. Nice meet you, kid. Wait, is that Comic Sans? I don't know if it is. The name's Hound. You need something? Are you indeed a hobo? Hey, nice to meet you. You need one here? Are you indeed a hobo? Well, yeah. I do appear in dumpsters, sleeping alleys and such, but being a hobo ain't my main gig. 
Yeah, the thing is, I'm kinda like god and stuff. I created everything around you right now and farted out the cosmos and the stars and shit. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal, actually. But you are, I mean, you created the Day Shift of Freddy's Trilogy, which is, in my opinion, one of the best FNAF fan game series ever made. You look like a hobo, hang on, you created everything? Well, yeah, most things. But not everything. Well, yeah, you guys did some of the work, to be fair. You mean like building society and shit? We do live in a society. I bet we did more than you to create a sticky mutt. Nah, not quite. You ever like leave a takeout box in the corner of your room and forget to bin the box, only to find a new species evolve from the remains of your chicken to Thai curry from last month? <laughs> Just kick me, I'm god up there. This this world is my takeout box, and I am the hungover dude gazing upon infinite possibility in disgust and awe. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. So, Zach, how are you doing? Are you drunk right now? What's your favorite hobby? If you're almost being of life, aren't you afraid that you'll be arrested for staying on the road? Is this all the same as before? I'm not really sure if it is. I can't really look, but I talked to him before. I don't think the dialogue here is different. So, I'll just do this. God, how much would that even cost? One, maybe two dollars? Do I look like I have two dollars right now? Aren't you God? Don't you, don't you control reality? Control reality? Ha! Look at the shit show happening on this bastard of an orb we call Earth right now! <laughs> do you honestly think I have a clue what's going on? You wanna fix shit? You will be God for a day. So, I gotta get going, because I'm pretty sure we've seen all that before. Going so soon, eh? What's the rush? I laid some eggs. Actually, I'm heavily pregnant. I gotta go pay child support to that witch I wasted 10 years ago, 10 years of my life with. I am really going to tire of you. The first one. Oh, hey. You got one of those reptile fellas that I made a few million years... A few million or so years ago? Not judging, just saying, fuck, you guys are weird. <laughs> Good luck conquering the human race and whatnot, though. You'll never see it coming. Ciao. So let's, uh, we'll go by Sander. This is Mikey, we've seen it before. How you doing, green partner? The name's Mikey, which is short for, mmm. Dot, dot, dot. Actually, scratch that. Mikey works just fine. Hey, my name is Mr. nice to meet you. Well, please, here's your acquaintance partner. So, what can I do for your friend? It's fine spring at the noon. Um, time for me to scroll off, then laters. Can you, hello, can you give me the fun fair, please? I mean, I'm pretty sure I've seen all the dialogue from him already. So, time for me to scroll off, then laters. Right on, then. See you around, partner. So, let's see if I can't do much else here. So, I'll just save again. 23 minutes, but I'll keep going. After all, this is a big game. Where's the way to go? So, it is downtown, the outskirts of town, local park, local phones, local cinema. I want this thing to be different. Hmm, let's go to the. We talked to the phone shop before. The dog might be slightly different. Huh. Hmm. Let's go to the outskirts of town, sneak onto the subway. I wonder how they're thinking of looking at me. Ah, uh, here we go. This one of those, yeah, outside demo realm. I guess we can't do that. So the fun fair is here. So let's go to downtown Dalltown. There might be something new here. Not really sure though. Because again, I don't know what's going to be different besides my character. So let's see. Ah, the d downtown dial town, where the air tastes like crystal meth, and the crystal meth tastes like smog. So what now? If the area read on the nearby, talk to a nearby passer passerby. This might just be the day of the phrase two phone guys. So let's see, let's look at the bar apartment complexes. Hmm. Let's go to the burger place. Let's go to the burger place. Turn to the main street relentlessly. Sip at the glass. Uh, 
god. Think about how many of my internet I can feel with a mountain of burgers. Good lord, I'm not sure if I've ever seen it get this lustful. I want the meat. <laughs> Hey there, bud. Bunny the, Bunny the Bergman. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Shoo! Go on! I told you to get. Really? You're showing me away? I'm not a wild. Anyway, you can't just. A local animal control to go pick you up! Right. Frightened, screwing. What if we go back? What if we go back? Can we just harass this guy? Um, let's go back. <laughs> Let's go back to the burger place. <laughs> Let's go back to the burger place. Do it again. Will something will something different happen? If if this is the same, then I'll just cut it out. God, you want the meat? God, I want the meat. That's definitely different. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> hey, you. Yeah, you. I told you to stop slipping in my glass! You're spooking my paying customers out! Shoo! Go on, get- Uh, same as before, would you like me to call animal control back here? Frightened scurrying, I want to come back for a third time! <laughs> Let's go back again. Back. Back. <laughs> How many times until either the dialogue just remains stagnant or if something else actually if something different actually happens. I wonder if third type's a charm. God. I want the meat. If it's the same, I'll cut. Okay. So it looks like it's just the same. So you could do it twice, but after that nothing happens really. So do by pass or by? Oh, hey there! Hey there, hand over. Hello, hello. Then, you need something then, mate? Uh, who are you? My name is Nathan Hanover. Governor, please make your acquaintance. Sorry for me estimate, but I'm running quite late for a very important date. Alright, be off with you then. Right. Get this done so get on me. Watch some footy have power mowing ships. Nice being here. Ta ra! Out to a different. Here they are! We saw these in episode 2. Hello, hello. So see you on this episode. Bye bye! They just the phrase 3. That's all we can do for that. And this was. This was with a clown guy, right? Yeah, what the F? Hoping. Hope to know something ends that somehow get you into that fun fair. And let's see. Okay, let me read the first effort out loud. Yeah, we saw this before. Actually, okay. I mean, wait, can we even? We could call it, I don't think we did this. We didn't do this before. How, how are you even gonna make the call? The nearest phone booth away! We didn't do this before, so I guess that's something new I can do. Oh, you have to pay money to get your phone! Alas, here we are. Downtown's only phone booth. They only have one phone booth? Really? Since type of like all people get their heads replaced with rotary phones, I dare say that things that this thing hasn't had much use since then. Honestly, this booth feels big on the inside. The booth might be crispy to lay my eggs. I know you're into dink cre creeps. Is this but come on! Surely you want a nice spot for your future ugly to be bored? I don't get it, what's wrong with this one? Well, for starters, there's a strong smell of urine in here. All of the buttons on the keyboard are still sticky with the gum, and there's a dead raccoon on the floor. Um, this place reminds me heavily of myself when I need the raccoon. Because it's sticky and it smells weird. Well, that and the weird scenes, yeah. You ready? Sure, yeah, write the number out. Yeah, might as well get this over with. What's the number? Poppycock. This might work out nicely for you. The number is. Uh. Your right to Lothus activity. Uh huh? Why is that? Dot dot dot. Well, what's the number then? Red text. Out with it! It's uh. 18. It's. <laughs> 1800 18 equals D. 60 phone. Dot dot dot. You sure you're ready? 
I've done from already in all my life. With great relatives and dread. Yes. Uh huh. No answer. Bastard phone. Did, did I type the skull and text wrong into the keypad wrong? Damn it, how am I supposed to get through with these sticky on useful keys? No, you yeah, actually replicated the number you know, with this with the startling accuracy. The error was you are not putting 25 cents into the phone box coin slot. Huh? Do I 25 cents? 25 cents? Who do you think I am? Winston Winston Churchill? Why did you land on his name all of Never mind, I don't wanna know. I uh, look. Point is you need to figure out what to do now. You're sent list so what's the plan hey really hard on the phone buzz and hope it works yeah oh please like that even work bang 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 bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit this is actually working I am for essential gratification I never say that again Randy, hi, my name is Randy Jade, and I'm feeling Randy tonight. That isn't the clown guy. I'm sorry, my boss forced me to say that. I really should have just lied about my name. I like to feel Randy tonight, wiggy face. That's quite right, Randy, how you doing tonight? I feel like it's one of my latest in peace. That's quite alright, Randy, how you doing tonight? Oh, you know, the same as always, which is never great. So sorry about talk. It's taking a little while to pick up the phone, by the way. I'm actually at work right now. I mean, of course you are. Don't you work at the phone sex hotline? I mean, yes, of course you do. But it's only a side job. I have to make enough money to pay my rent, which is laughably high. So then what exactly is your main job, then? During the day, I work as a bird arranger for, Dal for the downtown animal control. I'm kind of in the middle of subduing a house with swan right now. Wait, you just say that you're finding a swan? Do you typically wrestle birds while talking with dirty patrons? Uh, I mean, it's not that I'm fighting a swan, and more like I am trying my darndest to stop doing cap strip before it wreaks havoc. What kind of havoc could a swan have exactly? Oh, uh, you know, it probably just hung at a bus, maybe ruined a few family picnics, my god. I'm gonna get it! I'm sorry, I I got all caught up in our swan talk. You see, most customers ki call kinda, you know, later? Only well, weirdos tend to want to talk dirty with a complete stranger on the lunch break during a 12-hour shift at the downtown battery factory. I mean, no offense. The local battery factory say, Renda, you are effing hor horrendous at this job. The local battery factory, you say? Would you recommend the factory a factory essay? I don't know. Nesting location for heavily pregnant friends eggs? Uh, I mean, is there anything else you wanted to talk about? So like what's your sexuality, Randy? What kind of people do you date test compatibility? Can you guess what I've got in my pants? Hey, can you give me a swan fat? Okay, the disclaimer it sucks in the smell, please pair it promptly. Hey, can you give me a swan fact? Excuse me, swans are terrifying. There's just one fact. Excuse me, that, that doesn't satisfy me, Randy. I don't know what you want from me! This is an aw this awful holiday job is my only escape from the feathered honking mess of the swan kind. Um, your only escape, you say? Yeah, my only escape. What about when, you know, finish work and return home? You think that's an escape? Tell me, have you ever been followed home by a swan in the dead of night only able to only able to tell you that you're being followed by the rustling of the bushes nearby and a faint honky sound coming from the inky darkness? You know what, Randy, that might have I might have even been a swan at all. Really? Yeah, clowns also honk in the dark. Please god don't say that! I have enough on my mind as it is without clown terror too. Right, sorry. It's okay, I'm used to being sad and scared at this point. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Um, test, this test compatibility. So how about... Let's do this one. Can you guess this? I've got on my pants, Randy. I, uh, if I decide not to guess, are you just gonna tell me anyway? Are you not into this? We can talk about something else if you want. It's Squawk! 
It's an eggplant and it's got your name on it. It's a butthole right here. Butthole. It's a gun. Drop your fitness partner. Um, it's a... Hmm... Okay, so whatever this is I gathered. Is it... Is it big, Daddy? Yeah, I like to call it... Me mallet in the bedroom. No, it's pale and disappointing. Like the rest of my body, they don't claim Mr. Crusher for nothing. Um, until this one. God, if that isn't a mood, uh, I mean, uh, that's okay, hon. I like you just as you are. Alas, my bride has grown near an inch today, but my heart, my heart has grown considerably. Glad to be of assistance, sir. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Um, so like with such a if you do test compatibility. Beggars can't be choosers. Is that such a your or your dating policy? Are you kidding me? If I even found someone willing to tolerate my presence, that's marriage material. That or they're just acting nice because they're trying to steal my organs. Fool me once. Huh, now you give to the fun fair? Give it to the fun fair, I will devour your organs. Aggressively ask out on the date. Hey, hey, hot stuff. How do I have a fun for a sliding home place? Don't pick this one, please. Okay, so you are wise to me telling me to say organs of my mind, then? Hmm, let's politely ask. Uh, are you... Are you asking me out? On a... Date? Yeah, thanks for noticing. Well, it's less of a date and more of an egg-laying arrangement. Who cares? It's technically a real eye date. I've never been asked out on a date before. Usually, I am the dude who has to beg people to drink coffee with me and to resist the urge to throw the scaling beverage in my face during the sort of ordeal of taking me out. So, you're in? Uh, I sure as heck am. What do I have to lose? Well, I'll kill like a serial killer and murder you from your skin, for your skin or whatever. Well, as I always say, at worst, this will probably just kill me, which is best for everyone, including myself. Um, the good motto, we're still the five. So, when do you want to do this? Does right now work? I mean, I'm kind of at work right now, and you know, this one isn't gonna rankle itself. I'm heavily pregnant. Yeah, I'm just, it's now or never, Randy. I, alright. I guess I can leave in a few minutes. Take your time, we're sweet. It's okay, my time is actually worth very little. It's better if I just run up. So I get all sweaty and you can't smell the scent of swan massacre and desperation over my overwhelming body odor. If my manager asks that, I'll just say that the swan won and always does anyway. Catch you with the fun fair, my sweet. Um, I don't know if you're just going to fun fair. See you later, cutie pie. You'll pay me to the fun fair only way. See you later. Take the phone that my pants were already wet with pond water and swan saliva. Otherwise, I have to change my pants right about now. I'll, I'll see you there. That was interesting. Well then, let's like you've weaseled your way into the fun heart throughout. Whoops! Oh yeah, I forgot. That's a thing. Eggs. Let's think. Oh okay. Eggs. Not yet. Mars at 15. Soon. Come on, let's go. We've got a date to attend. So will it do the menu now? Let's hang on. Wait, wait. Never mind. So, what now? We should probably go to the fun fair. Let me save the game real quick. No. Yes. I'll save this in file 6. Yeah. It's 40 minutes. Let's just slaughter then. Let's leave. Let's at least go to the, let's at least go to the outskirts of town so the next episode we can just follow this. Or... I could. I think I'll just finish this. I mean, it was pretty quick. So, oh, it's not here. Piss, mate. Oh, here we go. The fun fair. Let's see if this guy is here or not. Let's see if Randy is here. So, you ready to meet Randy at the gate? Ready as I'll ever be, I guess? Sure, this will end up being a good time. I just know it. Let's do it. Oh, come on now. Sure, Randy is a little, uh... Um, okay, fine. He's not your catch to the other day, but you can finally go lay your eggs, if nothing else. Yes! Come on, you've got shit to do. Yeah, really. What will happen next time? Hello, Ticket Jerry? Oh, no. Um, Ticket Jerry, my friend. Hey, sugar, miss me? We aren't. Oh, Lord, help me. Why can't I just have an average day at work? Look, 
sir, as I said, I am not willing to just let you in just to get you off my back. And I'm not willing to take you myself, so unless you suddenly able to pull a romantic partner out of here, he's coming. Who is he? Randy. Did you actually manage to rope some poor sucker into paying into the fun fair? Or was some kind of bizarre and whimsical distraction designed to hold my attention while your weird stomach is dissolved a gaping hole in our fence for you to climb through? Damn, I wish I come up with that idea myself. No worries, it's a really human being. Damn, I wish I come up with that idea myself. Yeah, I figured you'd be able to do that. You look like you can spit acid. Is it the green skin? Yeah, among other physical qualities. This alleged Randy person. I actually know a few Randys, you know. Wait. Randys? Randy? 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 Sorry, point is, I know a Randy or two. Say, don't you really happen to be really pale and scrawny, covered in bandages? Constantly smells like sweat, desperation, and swan rage? Republic of my brain is a hunk. Like, yeah, that sounds about right, actually. Yeah, I'm glad Randy's got someone to spend his Valentine's Day with this year. Quite a pity that it's with a literal cryptid who just wants to see use him as a pawn to lay to it in this egg laying plan. That's not fair, we're not extremely close. Judge me not, fleshy ticket dispenser. Look at the first one. Name one fact about Randy other than him wrangling the swans and people's wieners over the phone. <laughs> hey, uh, is there a slow to R? Yeah, lives in house department, trailer and their enchanted cottage? Actually he doesn't. He used to have an apartment and I let's Oh my, here he is. Hey, sorry I'm late. I had to run around the puddle to get this one out of my clothes for the big date. Does that say F face? Is that a reference to Dacia the Freddy's when the cob would say to you F face? Excellent. Oh, who am I kidding? We both of the blood was exclusively mine. Well, well he's here. That's a nice plastic look phone. But hey, you look more replaced, my sweet. So do you, Randy? Look here, and then I picked you up for the phone. You must be a roadkill possum, Randy, because you look like a snack. Egg time! Yeah, you sure should. You're paying us both, and I presume. I, uh. Astounding. Simply amazing. He couldn't even keep in it for 30 seconds! He hasn't even greeted you yet, and he's already trying to get you to pay for his funfair tickets. But what are you talking about, Jerry? He's using you, Randy. We have a two-for-one ticket promotion on for Valentine's Day for couples. He just wants you to pay me so we can lay his eggs in a moist pit somewhere in the fun fair. Oh, I mean... Y yeah, I... I knew that. You knew? And still, you came? Uh, beggars can't be choosers, Jerry. Randy. Sigh. Fine, it's your funeral then. That'll be two dollars then, Randy. Uh, okay, I should have two dollars. I, uh, I should have about two or so dollars here. Maybe slightly less. You know what? J just go right in, Randy. R really? Yeah, I've had enough of this wretch of a creature for the day. You know about me or Randy? I'd like, I, I like to see how you look with the full exit consent you just for that mic on one of your busiest rides. You're talking, you're talking about me or Randy? Obviously you! Right, right. I was just making sure. Randy, please just get this creature out of my sight! Y yes, sir. Come on, hun. Let's go do the romance like a couple of old lovebirds. Let's do it! Yeah, we shall. We shall do it after you. Well, let's see how this goes. Looks like we're gonna get an ending pretty quickly. Wonder how this will work if we put the green film. Let's we'll try that. Well, well, well. Here we are, my love. The downtown fun fair and all of its degrees, soaked safety inspection, failing glory. So, my love, what should we do first? Eggs! Oh, uh, right. You wanna just, uh, lay those right now? 
You know, get it over with? Well, I would if you stopped staring, Randy. Okay, hold on, let me just quickly raise myself. You know, Randy, assuming you message, assuming you went directly on my ankle, my help. Let me just quickly brace myself. Sure, alright. I if you need to, I guess. I've never played Ace before myself. Not that I can, you know. I'm sure it's had to do without uh sufficient bracing. I'll just uh, give you some privacy and let you get to it then. Paint painted grunting. Oh, there we go. Paint grunting. Agonist grunting! Yeah, I can. Just stress roaring. Uh, what's the matter? Aren't you like heavily pregnant? I forgot stage fright. Ah, right. So, uh, what now? Hmm. We could always go on a few rides. See if we can shake the eggs out of my guts. Wow, that's absolutely wretched. But, I mean, I guess we could try- Right, eggs, now! <laughs> Anything for you, my love. Man, we're just- <laughs> Oh my. Wow! Radical! I wish Randy could be my dad. Could this be? Could this be feeling of love? Could this feeling be love? No, wait! No, wait! It's just your eggs scrubbing inside you. Wow. Okay, that's definitely different. Well, again, it's not with um, Oliver from the cinema. It's this guy, Randy. You okay, dude? Oh, Lord, I think I'm going to hurl. It's fair. If I have to go on one more vomit coaster, fear not, dear Randy. I'm ready to lay my eggs. This is the same house last time. Oh, good then. Right. Uh, right here? Yes. This stitch is squalid and dank. Wait, what this stopped? Oh, it's Ferris wheel. Damp and thoroughly moist. I'm close and close, closer to the hot dog stand. Yes, a perfect nesting location. Right, uh, do you need me here for this? Or, fetch me a hot dog, mating partner. I mean, I can do that, sure. Angling is a strenuous ordeal. I require sustenance. Fine, fine. I'll, uh, I'll be right back. Is he, is he just gonna run off? With one quality fairground wiener? Who am I kidding? We both know that there will be rat tails, pig hooves, and horse jerky in the sausage. Alright, here he goes. I guess you'll get that. Okay, so I guess it's time to... The sounds of the damned! Oh, wow. This is not actually showed it. Well, they showed eggs popping out of thin air. Let's look at that, my babies. They're, uh, defensive narrative audio grunting. <laughs> They're, uh, beautiful. Brown Neanderthal grunting. And as of last time, it, it, it censored it, even though this time they just popped out of thin air. Oh my. Hey, hun, I'm but Oh, you dropped the wiener. He dropped the hot dog. Huh. I suppose these be your eggs then? And my dad, Randy, and dad, are they beautiful, Randy? I will die before, or let's make an almond um, are they, aren't they beautiful? Yeah, they're, they're quite, uh, green. I'd like to see you lay, better eggs, Randy, thank you. You're, uh, you're very much welcome. Smiley. So, uh, what now? Throw some tops, tops all over the eggs and... Good, my babies are safe and sound. Okay, so like... The eggs have been laid, but the night is still young. We should, like, seize the moment. Deem the carp. Yeah, deem the carp. Deem the carp! Or I could just, I don't know, flee into the night? Nah, let's do this. Oh, yeah. What should we do first? Play some dumb carnival games? Or eat the hot dog stands? Will I have to walk to all those places? Yeah, I'll hold 10 meters that away. Oh dear. Uh oh. The music just turned. Like battle. Something's about to happen. It appears that Rainer wants you to walk 11 years to your left. F O F! <laughs> I just laid a F ton of eggs. My legs are jelly. 
My legs are limping. Flaccid. Yeah. Also, never use the word flaccid around me again. Thanks. What do? Okay, calm down. Just look around for something to do. Something slightly closer than 10 meters away. Something you can crawl over to if you have to. Crawl. Hot dog. Activity. I'm sorry. Blech. Also, maybe stop talking to, to me in front of Randy. <laughs> You're probably scaring him because he's telling like a wounded feral animal right now. I am a wonderful feral animal. Huh, are you alright? Do you need a glass of water or whatever couple of whiskey and a bat nectar your kind likely consumes? Panic! Uh, hun, you just said the word panic out loud. Fortune teller! Are we having a nervous breakdown? Look, Randy! Exactly two East Big Crumble meters that away! Is that a fortune teller animatronic? What? Mad my mediocre. Look, I don't know. I kind of have. Uh, that sounds like a bad idea. Yet. But dear Randy, don't you want to gaze into your future? I mean, my present is already bad enough, and the science system machine is out of order. That won't stop us, Randy. I don't know. I think seeing the next, hopefully much less than 40 years of mystery I have left on this hellscape of an orb all at once just destroyed the last fabric of my future. Look, I, I can't be here right now. I'll, I'll sit here around, you know? I... Oh, you left. Huh. Huh. Well, that's... Odd. Seems like Randy really didn't like the idea of hearing about his own future. I wonder why that is. I mean, like I said, look at his present. Time is here. Winter's us to all not dear narrator. For all we know, his future could be an improvement, though. Oh, come on, we all know that will be. What does getting promoted from being a swan ringer lead to? I don't know. Swan therapist? Swan ambassador? He'd suck at those jobs. Swans hate him. Plus, maybe Rainy is being promoted just a pipe dream. Anyhow, I mean, would you promote him? I wouldn't hire him to begin with if he had the criminals, I guess. But criminals would help even in this case. Playing foot in Swanlish? Being a bachelor's. but getting a bachelor's degree and not being maimed to death by a swan? Could live at the park for a while, like I do. Vote out some street cred. Or in this case, pound cred. Come on then, let's go home. I thought I couldn't walk though. Sorry, let me offer a correction. Let's crawl home then. Ah, shit. Goodbye, my children. I'll return to you all when I can. Yeah, yeah, circle of life and all that shit. Let's just, let's just go. See you in the full game. Look at that, it's a different one. What's the phone head again? Well, let's see, we just did an entire route in this one episode. That's pretty cool. Okay. Alright, so anyways, everybody, this is episode 6 of the Dow Town. If you all enjoyed it, please leave a like. I hope all of you have a fantastic rest of your day, night, whatever time of day it is for you. And I will see all of you next time. Bye!